August 2023 in Pokemon Go, you do not want to miss this month. Let's get right into everything going down. So, Mega Rage from the 25th to the 4th, we can have Mega Tyranitar, then Mega Gyarados from the 4th to the 16th, Mega Salamence from the 16th to the 23rd, and then there will be a break in between because of Go Fest, and Mega Salamence will return from the 27th to the 1st. In 5 Star Rays, we have Reggie Drago running to the 4th, then we have Cresselia from the 4th to the 16th, and then Xerneas that knows Geomancy, and Yveltal that knows Oblivion Wing, which are the two legacy moves, from the 16th to the 23rd and the 27th to the 1st. In Primal Rage from the 23rd to the 26th, Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. Remember in Research Breakthrough we have Sableye, Beldum, Audino, Furfuru, Gumi and then Noibat. And Gumi will be able to be shining when he does get debuted during his GoFest. Raid Hour, Reggie Drago on the 2nd, Cresselia on the 9th, Geomancy Xerneas on the 16th, Primal Kyogre on the 23rd, Primal Groudon on the 24th, and Yveltal that knows Oblivion Wing on the 30th. Spotter hours, which will be from 6 pm to 7 pm on a Tuesday. On the 1st, we'll have Vulpix with 2 times XP for evolving. On the 8th, we'll have Paris with 2 times catch Stardust. Oh my god, that's actually insane. On the 15th, we'll have Stuffle with 2 times catch XP. On the 22nd, we'll have Venon out with 2 times catch Candy. And then on the 29th, we'll have Tentacool with 2 times Candy for transferring. Also, what seems to be new is going to be monthly bonuses. Have an increased reward of XP and Stardust for 7 day Pokemon catch streak, so you get 20,000 XP and 10,000 Stardust. And you'll also get an increased reward for your 7th day Pokestop, which will also be 20,000 XP. And finally, the events happening, we have the Glittering Gardens event from the 5th to the 8th. We have the 2023 Pokemon Worlds event from the 11th to the 15th. Comment down below if you go into that. We then have the Community Day, which has been leaked to be Froakie. The Noxious Swamp event, I'm not sure what that's about. And then we have GoFest Global, and then the three in-person GoFest live events. Hopefully, this brings some players back. Thank you all for watching. Take care.